Late May, June, July, apricot season. Hi, it's John Steffi with ProduceGeek.com, and here we are at the end of May. We're headed into June, and a fruit delicacy is now in season, and that's fresh apricots. So most people have only ever had apricots in the dried form, you know, often even um, sometimes dried with sugar, but particularly the dried form has all the moisture removed and it's very sugary and that's the only way they've experienced apricots. Fresh apricots are also really good. So I just want to talk briefly about them and explain some of what to expect and what to look for. So what I've got in front of me this would be an unripe apricot. But the reason I know it's unripe is not because of the color so much. Yes, out of the varieties I have here, this one is more yellow. But the reason I know it's unripe is because if I give it a gentle squeeze, it still feels firm. Uh, and I pulled this right out of the refrigerator. So I would let this one sit on my counter for a day or two, maybe three, until it begins to soften just gently. They are super delicate and susceptible to bruising, so I'm not going to let this get banged around because it could easily get uh, damaged. But at room temperature, it, the color may turn just a little bit more orange, but really I'll know it's going to be good when I uh, give it a uh, squeeze and it gives a gentle pressure. So here I'm going to cut this one. You can see inside, this is an orange flesh apricot. If I eat it, That's still crunchy. That and the sugars and, and acids haven't kind of transitioned to where it's a little bit more sweet to the taste. So definitely going to want to let that ripen. On the other hand, these babies, which you can see some little bruises and nicks and so forth, they're tender soft. These have been at room temperature for about a week. And the flesh is... Uh, Nice and juicy, deep color. So I'm going to eat this piece right here. Mmm. It's just got this unique apricot distinctive taste. So if you've had dried apricots, you'll recognize it. But it's sweet and juicy and has that little bit of tanginess and a kind of a unique uh, creamy texture with a, just a slightly fuzzy skin. This variety, it's either a red raspberry or a red sunset, but this is a sweet red apricot from Family Tree Farms in Reedley, California. I love uh, trying their special varieties of fruit. This has not ripened at room temperature, but you can see it's got red blush skin. That is a varietal uh, scenario. It's like this one's not going to get red as it ripens. It's just a variety, So, because this is from the same farm, by the way. Let's try this sweet red apricot. Mmm. That one has a lot of robust acids and uh, boy, that really had a lot of um, going on in the flavor there. I think as this softens at room temperature, it's going to be really delightful. Check out apricots from California during late May, June, and into July. And then in um, mid to mid-June through July. Apricots are in peak season from Washington State. Also around here in the East Coast, we can get local apricots in June. Hey, here's something else I'd like to just talk about today. Campari tomatoes. This is a cocktail tomato variety, so it's bigger than a cherry tomato or a grape tomato, but smaller than a normal size tomato. These are greenhouse grown. They are, uh, they are super, uh, uh, they're, they're super popular as a um, versatile variety and I'm just going to cut one open and describe the flavor for you. Hmm. Full acid, rich and sweet, robust in your cheeks, tomato flavor. And why is that important to me right now is because, you know, my garden local tomatoes are still quite a ways away. So these greenhouse grown Campari tomatoes this time of year in the spring, I really enjoy them and I made an amazing uh, fresh bruschetta uh, recipe this past weekend. I had had some at a wedding and I was like, oh my goodness, I haven't had fresh bruschetta in so long. I had to go home and make it and I made it with two pounds of Campari tomatoes that were on sale and 
Wow, that turned out great. Head over to our Instagram, uh, Produce Geek on Instagram, and check out that recipe. And for what's best right now, keep checking back with us. Share fruit with a friend.